Alright, what is up guys, it is Sora here, and uh, today I just want to start a new little thing. I'm going to call maybe like the Fallout 4 Unique Weapons Guide, something like that. Uh, so, right now, as you can see, I'm carrying it out right now, this is the Broadsider. A lot of people probably do know about this uh, Unique, but I just thought it would be good to start out with since I actually just received it and it just gave me the idea for it. So, practically what this thing is, let's go and inspect it really quick. Uh, it is a naval cannon taken off of a ship and made handheld. As you can see, here's the uh, button you press to shoot it. And then we got... Uh, here, I'll go over the specs really quick. So, damage, 128. Pretty sure you can uh, upgrade that with the barrel and the shot canister. Uh, it holds cannonballs, obviously. I'm not sure if you can get more. I might have to look up on that and uh, get you guys that info, but uh, then we got the fire rate, really slow, uh, I don't know if you can upload, or, uh, sorry, upgrade reload time, or anything like that, but it's really, really slow, so remember that when you're in fights with anything, and uh, the range, 203, it does have pretty good range, it's not as good as I would think, but accuracy, definitely very good. The weight is almost 30 pounds, though, which is quite a bit if you're like me and you like to pick up everything that you come across. And uh, the damage is 128, which seems like quite a bit, but it's definitely a lot less than you would think once you start using it. I'm actually going to uh, put a little clip in of me fighting a Mirelert Queen really quick. You can actually see I just finished the fight with it right here. But, uh, yeah, here's the clip right here, guys. Alright, so you can see me fighting him, uh, the Mirelurk Queen right there. There's a couple of those fucking Mirelurk hatchlings that were kind of annoying. But uh, I had to pull out my combat rifle in the end to actually take it down because this thing was just taking too much. But uh, so I will give you guys the location right now. So practically what you want to do, I'm not going to run through the quest because I want you guys to be able to do it yourself and everything like that. But uh, practically all you want to do is... You want to come up, uh, where was it? One sec. Okay, right here. Okay, this is kind of... I don't want to spoil this. I don't, I'm trying to think. Okay, here, I'll, I'll travel over here one sec. Uh, Alright, guys, sorry. It's going to be some low frames around here because these cities give me some pretty bad frames. But, uh, okay, it is somewhere when you first find the USS Constitution, uh... It should be like, okay, I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can. Right now, you can see the ship up there. <laughs> it's actually up on top of a building right now. Uh, as you can see, huge pirate ship kind of thing up there. That's the U.S. Constitution. So uh, when you originally find it, it should be... Uh, sorry, it's kind of hard to see in the dark. Might be even worse for you guys, actually. Uh, it should be right... Here, yeah, it'll be sitting right here. It's a broken down building, uh, northeast, oh, right here, Weatherby Savings and Loan. It's northwest of, or, sorry, northeast of the Pickman Gallery and the Old North Church, and right next to Bunker Hill. So, practically, you'll go there, uh, they'll, uh, the lookout guy, robot, or whatever you want to call it, on the outside is going to recognize you as a army, uh, like, you used to be in the army, because that's your backstory. And, uh, they'll let you on the ship, and then you do a couple quests for them, and you try to launch the ship back into the ocean, but it turns out that the rockets go a little haywire. 
and you end up on like the tallest building in uh, Boston. But yeah, at the uh, I can't remember when you get it, but I know it's during that quest sometime. You guys can see uh, right here, last voyage of the USS Constitution. Don't read those if you don't want to. <laughs> but yeah, you do all that, and then uh, General Ironsides will give you the uh, broadsider. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was a pretty cool, unique weapon, and let me know if you want me to keep doing these. I really do like finding unique weapons and using them. So uh, yeah, if you liked it, leave a like down below and comment, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.